Things, faces, friends, places. Years and moments half forgotten. Laughs, fears, songs, tears. Memories are made of this. Though I am not an American, I remember a time, 1932, when always they had to move on. A job, security, a full stomach. You want them, bud? Well then, take this hand out and get along with you. Move along, bud. Move along through the depression. Better times are just around the corner. nineteen thirty two that fabulous island called manhattan there a hundred stories up on the pinnacle of the empire state men are planning in the true spirit of america for the future a mooring mast for airships on the highest building in the world high thinking big thinking but then below and around is a country that always thinks big. A country of people whose traditions are the world's traditions. For here, by origin at least, is every race under the sun. Germans, Irish, Chinese, Poles, Czechs, Swedes, Danes, Africans. Some still had far to go to realize equal rights with others, but at least they could call themselves Americans. Freedom is hard won. Maybe this is why they welcome with a minimum of prejudice. Pierre Laval visits New York. If any have doubts as to the aims and intentions of a wily European politician, they don't show them at New York's civic reception. In the United States, hospitality is the watchword, the maxim. All races, yet American. And what kind of mixture does that make? A people vigorous, rarely willing to admit defeat, no matter on what field they face it. For them, the battle is entered into with a resolute intention of winning. Whatever the odds, not easily beaten. A land where the courage of the pioneers still counts for much. Nothing too big, too high, too vast to conquer. Patriotic, nationalistic, but with the new nationalism of a new nation. Yet, though ready to die if need be for their country's defense, theirs is a nationalism with strong reservations. The American commander-in-chief of World War I, Pershing, puts his views. Hatred and suspicion still exist, and armaments at enormous cost continue to grow. And if no cure is discovered for this temporary madness, we are in a hopeless state. For of one thing we may be certain, and that is, if another world war takes place, Western civilization as we know it cannot survive.